that have one thing in common and this is that I deliberately try to use visual elements which are considered as an extremely feminine element and I use, uh, like to use these elements in my work but in a very restrained manner. So by that I kind of try to change the original meaning of these visual elements which are uh, many times also considered as very naive or unrelevant. This year's project, Gone with the Wind, which is in a way a continuation of my last year's exhibition, I will buy flowers myself, I wanted to merge together these feminine elements, which are in this project uh, symbolized by Gone with the Wind, classical, iconical book and the movie, and of course Scarlet as a heroine, and on the other hand with the sustainability, which is in a way not just the theme, this is the key issue which entered our everyday life. Uh, and I, what I wanted to do with the exhibition is to introduce a poetry and elegance into the solutions which are usually very technically predominated in order to uh, give a message that we will also have to introduce a poetry and emotion and passion uh, also in these sustainable solutions if we really want to make them alive. Uh, first of all, sustainability isn't just about recycling materials, trying to be, to be um, very eco ecological. It is more or less also the way we live. And I think that we as the designers have to be very, very self-critical, first of all, so that we have to choose to produce only the ideas which really matter or which really bring another values or another cultural issues into the society. And I also think that we have to try to lo uh, act local uh, try to find the inspirations and also industries which are close around where we live. And this was also one of the inspirations for this year's exhibition because I tried to work with local industries, trying to do an experiment and seeing if it is possible to help this kind of fallen industries like glass industry in Slovenia uh, to enter the top-end market, to find new values and to push the forward this, this local environment. I'm kind of a rebellion by my soul uh, and I like to, to work on things which are a challenge. And of course the design profession is still considered as a boys club, even if there are few very successful women designers. So it is even more um, challenging uh, to, to make your way in this mostly men, men's club. First of all, I think that there is a strong line between design and art and it is okay and the right thing that it stays like that. But I think that uh, also art has to grow. The contemporary art today is much more than just paintings or sculptures. It is mixed media, it is investigative, I don't know, uh, um, art. And on the other hand, design is taking a piece which used to uh, uh, belong to art. Um, and I think this is very good, because today, for a design that it is functional and ecological, it's a must. This is not any anymore the, the, the issue. This is something that has to be incorporated in every relevant design. But then there is, I like to call it, this X factor of an object, which I think that each contemporary design should have. So this is something which carries all the story, all the message, all the new value. Uh, so it has to go beyond the function. Um, and maybe this is a part which be in, in previous years, which were really under the mod modernistic phantasmas, uh, wasn't so strong as it is today. I think that the, the good part of fashion is lacking in the design. And this is also a part that I would love to bring into the design. And by speaking about that, uh, I, I have in mind the elegance. The elegance, the attention to detail, the, the softness, the sensibility, uh, I think this is something which design could 
take out from the fashion and it can of course also be inspired because clothes are usually in, in high fashion very well done, very nice done and I think this attitude should be also placed in the product design. I think the, the uniqueness of this uh, event for sure is that all the new things are presented in April in Milan. So all other fairs, London, Paris, are just the kind of uh, repeating what was already shown here. So this is for sure the most important event in the whole international scene. And uh, if you want to be a relevant player in this scene, you just have to be here. But of course, I think we also have to be a little bit critical about it. On the one hand, it's very important and it's very big. On the other hand, uh, it's because of these reasons also sometimes maybe too commercial. Of course, the design is the business, but I think Milan as a fair should, you know, manage this cutting edge of showing new things which are not necessarily just a marketing strategy or a selling strategy. So I think uh, even in the, 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 the times of crisis, this should not be underestimated.